Hello everybody, so for today let's try to answer this item from the field of algebra. Let alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. Find the value of the expression 1 over alpha plus 2 plus 1 over beta plus 2 plus 1 over gamma plus 2. Let's dive in with the solution. Suppose we have p of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 7. Note that since alpha, beta, and gamma are the roots in the given equation, we are going to have p of alpha equals p of beta equals p of gamma equals 0. We can also call alpha, beta, and gamma the zeros of the polynomial p of x. Now, notice how alpha plus 2 beta plus 2, gamma plus 2, are the zeros to p of x minus 2. Because if we substitute x as alpha plus 2, beta plus 2, or gamma plus 2, the results are alpha, beta, and gamma, respectively. Alpha plus 2 minus 2 equals alpha, beta plus 2 minus 2 equals alpha, sorry, equals beta, and gamma plus 2 minus 2 equals gamma. So, to get p of x minus 2, simply replace all the x's by x minus 2 from p of x. Simplifying, we're going to get that p of x minus 2 equals x cubed minus 9x squared plus 20x minus 5. From the previous step, we can apply Vieta's sums. Note that we're going to get the sum of the roots, the product of the roots taken two at a time, and the product of the roots since we have three roots. Now, one, equations 1, 2, and 3 refer to the three sums we can get applying Vieta's relations. Since alpha plus 2, beta plus 2, and gamma plus 2 are the zeros to the polynomial, everything will be expressed in alpha plus 2, beta plus 2, and gamma plus 2. We will be, we'll be getting the, follow, the three equations. Now, let's apply these three equations to get the value of the expression. Note how we can manipulate the desired expression. 1 over alpha plus 2 plus 1 over beta plus 2 plus 1 over gamma plus 2 equals the product of alpha plus 2, beta plus 2, and gamma plus 2. Uh, sorry, the sum of alpha plus 2, beta plus 2, and gamma plus 2, taken two at a time, divided by their product. Since we already have the values needed, all we have to do is substitute the values. We have the, pro we have the sum of the product taken two at a time to be 20 from the second equation, and we have the product of the three given to be 5 from the third equation. And thus, the desired expression is simply 20 over 5. And this gives us the answer of 4. 